I came here to the center here um, two years ago exactly and um, I was traveling and as always I think when I'm traveling there's a lot of affliction a lot of anxiety coming up because I don't know why but I think it's partly because I have so much expectation of having positive data and I was super afflictive and afflicted and I was involved in a training at that time and that was to a certain extent it was very supportive but um, at that time it wasn't helping me at all and I was just so focused on trying to trying to get rid of my negativity and then I have a friend who's in the training and she asked me to just come and and just check out what she was doing here and so I did and I remember I came to a I came to a social event uh, and I, I remember sitting there I think and and being met by one of the trainers and I don't know if it was something she said or just what she radiated but I, I just had the really profound experience of not needing to change my negativity, that it was so perfect to be there. And that's just what this whole place radiates. And that was, that was amazing for me. And so it wasn't really intellectual, but I just felt like I wanted to come back every day for the open meetings. And so I did that for three weeks when I was here. Um, yeah, and then and then I went back to back home to Stockholm and and uh, continued to immerse myself there by going to the open meetings every week. And then uh, after a while, I I went to the Sweden Center in south of Sweden to do the twelve empowerments. And uh, yeah, I I want to say that um, yeah, I think. I had, before I met the training, I had the recognition that, because I was very, very interested in social change and politics, feminism, and I, I had the recognition that for there to be a change in the world, there had to be a change in the way, way that we use our mind. And that brought me to take an interest in psychology, which I studied. Uh, but it just felt like, it just felt like hitting the glass ceiling because it was always about either in politics or in psychology it was always about sort of finding who who's the person to blame like who who should we exclude from from the the good people like uh, yeah um and here I what I see here is that we're not excluding anyone and we're not excluding any part of ourselves we bringing everything into the warmth and the openness and it's it's so it's so amazing to have found this training it's it's such a profound and from what i see it's such a profound and and true and real training but like made so available and so accessible for modern modern people and modern lifestyle so what I love to do is, uh, I love to go on clarity calls, which is the mainstay, the train, well, it's actually, it's, it has all the mainstays in it, doesn't it? It has the trainer, the media, the training, the short moments, and the community. I love to do that, and I, I will do that several times a day sometimes. I had been taught that I wasn't my thoughts and I wasn't my emotions, but I hadn't really been taught what I was. It was like, I could sort of, be free in one sense but I couldn't really be empowered it's like here I learn the vastness and the complete power of who I am uh, maybe, that, maybe that's not so practical <laughs> uh, yeah. one thing though in my intimate relationship I would like to share about uh, how uh, I think I used to be I, I've been in an intimate relationship for more than seven years so Obviously, it has been functioning, but I do see that I do see a, a huge shift there in how I would sort of flip between either like totally indulging romance and wanting to like conjure up romance and like wanting him to, to like treat me in a specific way and 
And then on the other hand, like whenever I was afflicted or I would just like sort of use him for different means. Like if I was sad, like, oh no, he has to comfort me. Or if I was happy, oh, he has to, he has to be happy with me. And I see a whole, I see that I'm an adult much more in my relationship. I see, I see how I'm so happy to, to be, I see that I don't have any problems really. And that I'm just there to support him and uh, enjoy.